curious about that if there is an issue going on in your production environment and that is like you are getting an alert related to disk space full so right now as you see that we have 100% disk utilized on this server fine so how we are going to fix it so before uh, going for troubleshooting we need to understand couple of things here first of all like how many partitions are there which are mounted so as you see that right now uh, like 0% utilized so these are the temporary file system like dev temp fs temp fs so these are the temporary file system this is my main file system where my data is kept which is mounted on slash and that is approx 100% utilized fine moreover the file system which is it uh, contains it that is xfs it means i will have to check this particular file system before doing uh, any troubleshooting sort of stuff how much it is used and how much it is free so only 2.3 mb space is used uh, free fine so what i'm going to do here is first of all i'll do, i'll check that what is my current working directory i will run a command so there are two commands basically first of all df hyphen capital t then h which means that t denotes for the particular file system type the type of file system like xfs tempfs dev tempfs and h for human readable size so if i run a command df so it will obviously list down the information but it will not be in human readable format like you will have to calculate it that how much size is it then after the same uh, thing you will have to calculate here and everything which means if you do not mention hyphen h command here hyphen h switch you if you do not mention then it will not be in human readable format fine now what next we are going to do for, so first of all we will change the directory because we do not understand like at what particular point this particular file is kept it means what is the particular location where this data is being consumed so very first command we have seen that is df hyphen capital t h fine and the next command is du du command shows the utilization of existing directory that how many files and folders are there and how much space is being utilized there so everything it will print for you fine so the overall data it is showing here okay now what next so first of all we will go to slash uh, this one pwd we will print so we are under slash directory we are at uh, root mount point and what we are going to do here is we will run a command du hyphen sh and after that we will mention one as take it means every single file it will calculate as one and it will print the information so as we can see like slash uh, like slash bin has nothing slash boot has 130 mb then after etc has 23 mb only and after that opt has uh, 4.9 gb data then after usr has 6 679 uh, mb then after slash var has 4.2 gb data okay so first of all let us go to slash var because most of the chances are there that logs could be there so var log now we will go here we will run a command ls dash l r t h l r t h is used to print the latest file at the very bottom fine so these are the files which are listed here and right now as we can see like we can run a command here like grab and g we can run so it means which will print the only file where g is where capital g is mentioned so as we know that whenever we are going to list down any file so by default the the particular size letter is listed in caps only this is not any small like capital b capital g capital k so all the letters are written in caps until unless it is in bytes so it is not going to show it is going it's it's byte so it's not going to show anything so okay this is the particular file so now first of all there are two things either we will have to remove this file like we can do like this rm dash rf mail log dot one we can remove this file but what if this is the file where uh, this file is being utilized by any of the application what would happen that moment so even after deleting the file your disk space will not get released that is a particular thing here which means your disk space will not be freed by the system so once again you will have to take reboot or you will have to perform some other systems so if you are going to kill uh, like remove this file so there is a particular process so which you need to perform here is so first of all what you will do first of all you will truncate this file so as you see the size file is 4 gb so you, first of all you will truncate it now you will have to check that what is the size what is the size of this file which you have truncated so right now it is okay df hyphen capital th you can check like mail log so nothing so du hyphen sh command we will run du dash sh and after that we will run the particular file name which means the file size is zero byte fine 
if we run the complete system like if we want to check complete information then we can check 6 gb space is currently free like used 4.1 gb is available right now the particular space which we were able to see that uh, like uh, somewhere this is this much space was utilized so right now we can see that the amount of space is freed here we, because we have truncated one file of 4 gb now what next like we can check here 4.1 gb space is there 6 gb is free what else like once again we will go to slash and after that now what, let me tell you one more thing that if the file is tr tr like truncated right now so uh, we will have to check that what is the size of this file so right now if we want we can remove the file because if the file is empty and that is lying on system so that will keep on utilizing inodes when we have truncated the data so that does not make any sense that we keep empty file available on the system that will create some problems problem in the sense like it will keep on utilizing your additional inode values okay so now once again we will go to slash then after once again we will run the command du s sh then after asterisk we will mention now the next file here is under slash opt i'll go here i'll check so there is a particular file with the name as demo which is created today only so the size fi file size is this one so ls hyphen l for listing long list then after l r for recursive h for human readable and t for timestamp so l r t h is the particular switch which you can use to list down the files fine so this is how you guys are going to uh, fix it it means once again you will truncate the file first and after that you will remove the file or if it the file is quite critical file is quite important that you cannot truncate the file or you can remove the file then definitely you can compress that file or maybe you can take backup of that file onto some remote server on some of the backup servers wherever you want and after that you can remove that particular file or there is only one way left like you will have to add additional storage onto the particular server where you are facing this sort of issues fine so i hope this has been informative and uh, if you are new to, new to my channel so please do like share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press bell icon as you will be notified for my upcoming videos i will keep on posting all troubleshooting related videos on the channel fixmyinfra.com and uh, thank you so very much have a good time and happy learning